another day and at least one other project over here at Auto Auction Rebuilds. That's right, that means we won something today. Let's talk about what we won. In other words, let's go bid on some cars and see what happens. All right. Here's one that we definitely won't try to get in on. Come on now. You're not gonna let me get this thing cheap, are you? Jeez. You're talking about 16, around 16, $1,700 after fees right now, and that's for a dealer. We'll go ahead and finish this anyway, see what it goes for. Yeah, we're at an easy $2,000 right now. All right, let's see if we can jump on this Cadillac. Not a bad looking car. The Lincoln was kind of slow to sell. So I don't want to go too high on this and we didn't get to hear it run. It really pushed me. That's my last bid right there, I think. What do you think? Should we bid in any more? Bid again? One more time. Bonus time. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't you hate bonus time? I'm done bidding. Like, this is it. So, we win, we win. Sold on a All right. All right, here's the Impala with the crunched doors that we're trying to get. Uh-oh, we're going to get it. We won. Okay, so now that we're done with all that, bidding is done. We won what we won. We lost. Um, they decided to cancel the F-150. They actually wanted $3,700 for the Harley-Davidson salvage title F-150. Almost four. And when you talk about fees, it's over $4,000 with fees. So... What we did win is the 2010 Chevy Impala, and it's going to cost us not 1935. It's going to cost us, we'll use a money order, 1870 is what the Impala is going to cost. The 99 DeVille, they countered me on this. Um, you can see over here, they countered me, we're at 725, they countered me at 850. Not happening. If we are that close, literally around $100 between one another, no, I'm not accepting the reserve. I'm not counterbidding. They will come down. I, I can almost guarantee they're going to come down. There's no need for me to waste an extra $125 when I'm certain they're going to agree to this. And hopefully, you know, maybe tomorrow we can bring this one home. We'll see. Now, I don't know how well this video comes out, but uh, the 2010 Impala needs two passenger doors in the color white. So I found them right here. White looks exactly the same and they are $125 a piece. So for 250 bucks, we can buy the Impala for 1870 plus put doors on it for 250, you know, and it's book value, uh, according to Carfax, even with a salvage title is 5320. Now you won't get 5320 even, even though Carfax says so, but I do believe this car will pull all day long, four grand, 3,500 at a minimum. So you're talking about you got maybe 22, $2,300 in it and you can sell it for three grand, uh, sorry, for 3,500 to four grand, that is a win all day long. So now let's go pick up the Impala. Maybe when we get there, they'll tell us we got the Cadillac too. All right, boys and girls, I've already gone in there. We've taken care of the paperwork, paid for the Impala. And now we're waiting for them to bring the thing out to us. They're gonna bring it out on a loader, but before then, before that happens, I just want to give a big shout out to all of the people here at this Copart lot, corporate as well, of course, for allowing me to do this, but also for this local lot and the people that work here that also allow me to do this. 
The management here is amazing. They're always really friendly, really easy to talk to. The ladies behind the counter, they're always on point. They always get things done. So big shout out to all you ladies that deal with me coming in here for getting my bidder number uh, every single week and taking 20 minutes to figure out what the bidder number is. And the management, thank you guys for being so helpful and so understanding. I really do appreciate everybody here at Copart. Don't forget, check out www.copart.com. But please, we just had a discussion in there with some of the management. I think there's a misconception around here that some people seem to think you're, you're buying a car sight unseen from Copart and maybe you're getting like a used car, a brand new car. Remember, please, you can find excellent deals here at Copart, but at the end of the day, this is a salvage auction pool, all right? Please remember the word salvage. Not all cars are salvaged, plenty of clean title cars, but just remember, you're getting great deals on these cars because this is not a car lot. This is a salvage pool, a salvage auction. So just keep that in mind. Always, always look at the cars before you bid on them for yourself. Don't do like I do. Don't bid on cars sight unseen. That is dangerous. Always go out there and look at the cars for yourself. And if you can't make it, they have services available, people that will come out here and check these cars out for you. Now, let's go check out that Impala. And there's the Impala right there. There she goes. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what the damage is. Oh, dang. All right, so here's what $1,870 bought Weird Beard Auto Sales this week here at Copart. Car's got 86,000 original miles. Dealer serviced, extremely clean Carfax report bought this sight unseen which is something i tell everybody not to do and i'm still going to stand by that uh, i knew there was damage on this side now if you look at the fender we're good this door looks like a tire ran up on this or something this door is just destroyed crushed this one doesn't open this door is destroyed but the good news is our, our rocker panel here this plastic cover is okay back door still opens this might take a little bit of work to, uh, to straighten out and try to put back in place. Uh, the door definitely needs to be open for that. There's gonna be a little bit of work to do in here, but overall, everything looks like it's okay. And the best part is I was concerned with the, uh, the B pillar here, but it looks like the B pillar is fine. I don't even see a dent on the B pillar at all. We've got excellent tires, Goodyear, Integrity, on the back here, we'll see if they're matching. 86,000 miles Goodyear Integrity. The fronts are different. The fronts have got star fires, but uh, even then the front tires look almost new. And this one's a prime well, so, okay. Either way, it's got four good tires. It's got a very clean motor. Looks good under here. I should not buy cars sight unseen. I really shouldn't, but I just knew this was gonna be a good car. And we'll find out for sure. Oil is full and doesn't look bad at all. All right. The coolant looks good. Let's put a jump on it. Let's see if it fires up. Again, gotta give a big shout out to Jump and Carry www.jumpstarter.com for sending me this thing. This has proven to be a lifesaver. Let's jump this car. Here we go. All right, we got lights. That's a good sign. We got dinging. That's a good sign. I think I just heard a radar detector in here somewhere. Let's turn all this off. Are you ready? I'm nervous. Well, it's not running great. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. <laughs> What's that ticking noise? I know what that ticking noise is. Down here under the glove box, back here, I've changed these out on my last Impala. It's a, it's a little uh, door opener, I forget what they call it, but the flap thing, you know what I'm talking about. The actuator for the door opens and closes, it ticks. You can reach up under there and unplug it and it'll stop making that noise. 
that's no big deal. Look how clean this interior is. Does it go into gear? Backwards? Forward? That's what I'm talking about. There, we got that to shut up. So what's making that noise appears to be the, uh, the actuator for the blend door. Now let's see if it fires up a little better this time. Ah, be quiet, be quiet. No lights, fired right up. This thing's really aggravating me, that noise. Looks good, it looks good. I think we got us a win here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I say ladies and gentlemen. I, I need to stop that, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Let's see if we got anything in the trunk. And that damn noise started up again. Ugh. Will you be quiet? Now where is the, oh, I'm telling you, this, this thing is just getting on my nerves. Let's have a look in the trunk. See if we got anything cool back here. Oh, we got a trunk full of ladies clothes and expensive Victoria's Secret bags. Oh, my fiance is gonna be all over this. Oh, we got purse? We got someone's purse? Hey, when you buy something at Copart, you get whatever comes in it. Look at this. Look at this. This is expensive right here, ladies and gentlemen. And I just said I wasn't gonna do that. Oh, we got we got a jack. Oh, crusty panties? Crusty panties? No, sir. No, sir. Oh my God. I shouldn't even show that on video. There are literally crusty panties in the back of this. Uh, well, you know, you never know what you're gonna get in the back of a Copart car. Uh, yeah, so we've got stuff back here. N uh, toothpaste. Yeah, okay. We're, we're done. I do not condone smoking. But here we got some uh, some Berry Blast cigars. Hmm. I hope there's no weed in here. What do we we got? Pills. Uh, an empty prescription bottle for pills. We got a lighter. More cigar stuff. A name tag. A cigarette. Interesting. What's in the glove box, I wonder? Not much. I'm not giving out anybody's personal information on here, but hey, this part of the fun of buying cars at Copart, man, is going through them and, okay, the dirty panties is not something anybody wants to find, but, well, okay, it's not something most people would want to find, and I, I'm most people, I don't want to see that. But uh, hey, here she is, she's running. It's time to get it home. But before we can do anything, we got to put on the dealer tag. We don't want to get ourselves in any trouble on the way home. So we put on the dealer plate and then we can hit the road. So now is the moment of truth. We leave the Copart lot. We got the Z right behind us. You can see that multicolored car back there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me turn off this heater. And yeah, the heat works, the air conditioning works, the radio works. Oh man, this is such a smooth car. No joke, wow. Okay, honestly, man, I just have all the luck, I guess. I don't wanna even pretend to sound like I'm trying to be cocky and say that I'm just this good, that I'm just this damn good that I picked these great cars. I'm just lucky, man. <laughs> I'm lucky. Shifting through all the gears, we're doing 40 miles an hour. It, this thing is so smooth and so quiet. Let's give it a little gas, see how she responds. Okay. Oh, so crisp. So crisp. Those shifts are strong. And in case I forgot to tell you, I already ran a Carfax on this. And this car has the Carfax report that dreams are made of. Literally. The Carfax report on this thing is just impeccable. It has been dealer serviced with oil changes, transmission fluid, 
uh, brakes, rotors, front and back. This thing has a long list of service. I already sent the Carfax over to Mike because I know he is thrilled about that Carfax report. When you find something, like this actually ran the Carfax report last night before bidding on it. Since I knew I wasn't going to be able to get out there and look at this in person, I wanted to see what Carfax had to say. And Carfax said, this car should be a win. Now, if you're looking to get your Carfax report, in case you're going to do something like me, which I don't recommend bidding without seeing, but get yourself a Carfax report, link in the description, literally cost you like five bucks if you lose my if you lose if you use my link because i got to deal with these guys five bucks use that link get yourself a carfax you know carfax the cars you're thinking about bidding on and, and that'll help you make a better determination as to whether this car was well taken care of or not it's also worth mentioning that a link to uh the company that makes these jump and start booster packs uh, i believe it's called chlor automotive um I will put a link to several of their most popular booster packs in the description and in the comment section as well for you guys. I don't know why I'm pointing at this car when I need to be pointing at this one. Okay, made it home. Made it to the house. No issues. Let me tell you something. Dri I, I already told you in the video. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. Drives so good. I'm not quite sure what all this is, but I think I know what this is. It's like some uh, ankle straps or neck straps some wrist straps we got some more straps and cables um yeah anyway this is all going in the garbage <laughs> that's all that's all going in the trash but i got one last surprise for you before we get out of here this this is always just very rarely does this happen but when it does it just makes me smile i'm gonna do the end thing i'm gonna turn the car off we got the key right too bad it didn't come with the clicker, but oh well. All right, I'm gonna put the key back in and let's see if it fires back up. Not an issue. There you go. Even the battery is still good on this thing. So I hope you find folks enjoyed this video. We got another one and tomorrow, Maybe we'll be able to get that Cadillac. If not, then I guess we're going to lose it or I'll have to accept the, the reserve of $850 or whatever. I don't know yet on the Cadillac. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Would you accept the bid on that 99 Cadillac DeVille that was in the video? Um, what was it? Yesterday's video? It was yesterday's video. Is that white 99 DeVille. It's $850 is their reserve out the door. It's probably going to come out to about a grand, maybe slightly over a grand. I don't know. I'm really happy with this one. The B pillar is good. Everything on this looks like it's going to be a okay and an easy, easy fix. I'm probably, I mean, Mike may want to. I'm not going to worry about this. A slight ding here and some scrapes. I'm not worried about any of that. Um, my concern is going out and getting the doors, getting these two doors replaced, which is a super easy job. You can see the B pillar here. I mean, it's just nice and straight. Nice and straight. Everything looks really, really solid on this. The door still opens and closes very well. So I really think it's just a matter of put two doors on it, clean it up as best we can, and put it out on the lot. So that's going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you people taking the time to join me and to go on this adventure. Big shout out again to uh, Copart, their corporate office, to the lot itself out here at uh, 2829 Southeast 15th Street in Oklahoma City or Dell City. I think it's Dell City. It may be Oklahoma City. Big shout out to them. We're going to uh, get this thing cleaned up, try to get it ready. For this weekend, I would like to have the doors on this, have this thing out at Weird Beard Auto Sales this weekend up for sale. Asking price, asking price about 4000 somewhere around there. I think it'll bring it. I do. I think this thing will easily, easily bring uh, 35. I mean, all day long, this thing would bring 3500 with as good as it drives. And worst case scenario, no, worst case scenario, worst case scenario is 3500 may even bring higher than that. So I think maybe if we started out around 4,000, maybe 4,250, I think we can give some wiggle room there. We might be able to pull more than 35 out of this. This is a very exciting win. Stay tuned. Catch you guys very soon in the next one.